Hi, welcome to Promo Insiders, an ASM media podcast covering the topics that matter most to the promotional products industry. I'm executive editor Sarah Lavendusky, and it is officially spring here in Philly, and we wanted to celebrate with a special live episode of the podcast. And I'm here with my fellow executive editor of digital content, Teresa Hagel, and our new social media producer, Eliza Bage, for her first podcast with us. And we're going to talk about our favorite spring activities and some fun treats we found while shopping this week and ways you can leverage the new season to sell to promo clients. So thank you ladies for being here. I'm excited. Yeah, me too. Yeah, I'm excited. Cool. So we want to hear from our listeners too. So make sure to put your questions and comments in the chat and we'll get to them as time allows. So I don't know if this is like just a Northeast thing. I'm sure you girls are aware of it too, but there was a saying that I've heard my whole life, which is March comes in like a lion out like a lamb. So we have major snowstorms in the first half of March, and then it's like 70 degrees and sunny and the daffodils are out by the end. So I'm excited for spring. I know you both are too. So let's start with what you love to do when springtime comes. Maybe there's activities you do right away where you like to go. Maybe you spring clean your house or your home, whatever is going on there. Um, Eliza, why don't we start with you? What is kind of like your favorite thing to do when spring? When yeah, spring I comes? mean... I love to just like get outside. <laughs> I think yeah. many of us kind of as soon as the weather gets nice, walking outside is like you just like reborn. Like, oh, I feel mm -hmm. great. So I love to get outside. I like to take little like mini road trips. You know, I live in Mooresville, PA. So I'm like by Yardley and River Road. So I like to drive up River Road as far as we feel like going and, you know, finding spots to like hike and bring our dog out. So that's kind of what I love to do once the weather gets nice. Awesome. Yep. Yeah. And Teresa, how about you? What do you like to do? Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm going to go with the same thing. I like to get outside, go for walks, go for hikes, go for runs. Um, it's just actually, I'm looking forward to, we have a nice big, long back deck outside. And we, you know, last year we put like some lights up on it. We have like solar lights. We have uh, a little like awning on it. So I can't wait to actually be out there maybe with a book and a glass of wine and just in the nice weather. That's what I'm looking forward to. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's relaxing. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I love switching out my clothes. I like bringing out the sandals. I like, and I'll do that early. Like I'm already starting to wear flip flops. Mm -hmm. It's a little mm -hmm. early for that, but I'm, I'm like definitely ready. Um, and I really like speaking of, uh, the river, Eliza, I love walking the towpath on the canal. Yeah. That's one of my favorite things to do. It's really fun. Mm -hmm. Um, and I really like, as you said, Teresa, I love getting invites to people's <clears throat> homes with their decks and eating out and having barbecues. And yeah. I like just like the sun hitting my face, you know, like the vitamin D we all need that after a long winter. So that's my favorite thing to do as well. I can tell um, one thing I don't like. The allergies are killing me already. Yeah. All, like, the last two weeks, it's just been so stuffed up and it's a nightmare. Yeah. You know what? It's interesting because I used to have the same problem, like right from winter into spring and then from summer into fall, I would have a terrible time. And I started all year round, pretty much every day, like a dollop in tea or a smoothie or whatever, however you can get it, local honey. Mm -hmm. I got to start that. Yeah. yeah. It has been like everybody out there. It has been life changing. Yeah. I've heard that before. I need to. How do you know? It. How do you know that your honey is local? Like, where do you get it from? So I get raw honey, and it's mm -hmm. it'll say where the apiary is, mm -hmm. and it'll say like Pennsylvania, and I have a zip code, okay. so I know that it's it is close enough. Like if it's in like the Northeast, you're probably good. Like okay. they have Jersey ones too. Mm -hmm. That that's all like applicable. Um, and I, I swear by it, like people are like, how do you know it's actually the local honey? I'm like, I'm telling you, this has been the biggest change and I have seen the biggest results from it. And yeah. I didn't believe it at first, but it doesn't take that much, but it just takes yeah. consistency like all year round. Life changing, life changing. You don't buy it at the grocery there. store, do you? You can get it at the grocery store. <laughs> they have it at, um, like natural food stores. They have it there too, but they're also available. Like I get mine at Giant. Oh, nice. It's not like that little, like, honey bear squeeze bottle. This is... No. No. Like, not like, the real deal. Not like I think the, the consistency deal. is a little different, too. Like, it is. I, I get, like, a whipped one when I go because whipped honey oh, sounds amazing <laughs> and it is amazing so yeah um like i said when i'm like taking those trips up river road or just driving around if i see like a local like farm stand i yeah. stop and get some honey totally it's the best yeah i definitely agree with you um 
Yeah, fantastic. Um, if anybody has any tips about beating allergies, please leave them in the chat. We thank you. Yes, I need to know. I need to know. <laughs> um, so I wanted to jump right into trying our food. So we'll go kind of round robin style. We each try one at a time. Um, so Eliza, why don't we start with you? What do you have today? Okay. What'd you find? So um, I'm going to start with my party cake peeps. Ooh, what? Yes. Nice. Are, are made around where I live. No way. I didn't yeah. know that. Oh, yeah. Just oh, born. Yeah. It's in Bethlehem. No way. Yeah. They're, Did not know get, that. Yeah. I get free peeps and free, like, Mike and Ike's all the time. Oh. Anytime you go to, like, a, an event, they're always oh. donating uh, items. I know. I did not know that. New info. Yeah. Lots of ASMR right now of me opening it. <laughs> <laughs> I feel yeah, like yeah. Okay. So, yeah, they're really pretty. They're, mm. like, white, and they have, like... Do they have little flex on them? Oh, cute. Yeah. Oh, I like that. Oh, are they smell guys, like birthday cake. Are you guys uh, Peeps fans? Yeah. I, I like them, too. They're polarizing. Yeah. So, oh, yeah. Yeah, it smells great. They also um, drop a Peeps on uh, New Year's Eve up here. No way. Yeah. Oh, that's funny. Yeah, yeah this is really good. Ooh, is yeah. it not super strong, the taste? Mm -mm. Nice. It's, it's like it's like a nice hint of it. Awesome. Nice. Good stuff, Teresa. How about you? What do you All have? Right, I will do. I have key lime Ooh. M and M's. Ooh. Okay. That seems like a springy kind of thing. Yeah. All right. So I'm gonna grab them. They looks like the colors are green, white, and then like a lighter green. I'm just gonna try one. Oh, that's really good. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh really? Oh, yeah. What's if the inside like? like? It's white. It's white chocolate. Oh, okay. They don't usually like, but nice. <clears throat> I love oh. the key lime flavor. It's so good. Oh, nice. That's really good. If you like awesome. key lime pie, that's a that's a good one. Cool. Um, well, I have. I also have peeps. I have chocolate pudding ones. Oh, I saw those. Yeah. yeah. Some of them I was like, yeah. I don't know if I would try that, but ooh. This is loud. Sorry. Oh, and they're bunnies. Oh, and they have, it's actually, oh, it's chocolate marshmallow. Oh, it's not yeah. even white marshmallow. Mm. Oh <laughs> <laughs> I should have got those, man. Okay, Just with that really reaction. Oh. Does it taste like pudding? It tastes like chocolate. Mm. Like, I wouldn't say like, oh, this is certainly pudding. But it this is really good. Oh. Another another company around us makes uh, marshmallows that have the chocolate inside. Have you seen those? The stuffed pops. I saw them. Mm -hmm. I saw them at the market. Yeah, I didn't pick them up. that's another company that came to the Lehigh Valley. No but way. But they have they have chocolate one chocolate marshmallows with chocolate on the inside, which are, I thought they were pretty good. <laughs> I love marshmallows. They're kind of polarizing. Not everybody likes them. Like, I don't know how that's possible, but. My dad hates them because he doesn't like sticky fingers. Isn't that fun? <laughs> so, <laughs> oh that's God. funny. Oh, man. Eliza, what do you have next? Okay. So I got these Hershey's egg-shaped okay. white cream chips. What? I, I don't even know. Like. I, this is the first time I saw them oh. when I went out and got them. I don't, I've never seen that. And, yeah, I'm just going to grab a couple. Oh, they're, like, little. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, you know, these aren't anything special. Like, they look really cool in okay. the picture. But yeah, they're not anything special. They're just like Aww. little like pellets of uh, cream, <laughs> like white I'm cream. Sorry. Bummer, well, maybe, man. Yeah, yeah, that maybe one's good for cooking. Maybe if you put it in like a yeah, oh, uh... maybe like a good like cookie or like brownie. Yeah, yeah. those chocolate eggs. Um, yeah, um, I made them into brownies last year. Like my friend saw like a recipe and was like, "Can you make this?" So went out and did that. So maybe I could use that for this. That's awesome. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm sorry. It was a bummer. Yeah. Mm. Darn it. Yeah. Teresa, what about you? What's next? <laughs> right. 
I have another citrus thing. Okay. It's a lemon crisp Kit Kat. Okay. Just like a little tiny one. And oh, a little baby. Yeah, a like little a gold bar. Look. All right. Two for two. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> you like lemon. Um, it's a good flavor. Nice. Yeah. I like it. I like it a lot. Cool. Well, speaking of lemon, I'm going to try my lemon Oreo. Ooh. Because because Oreo, like all these other companies, is also going crazy <clears throat> with the different flavors. So it's like a, it's a white Oreo with a yellow center. I'm just going to. Did you know that Oreos, I mean, I'm not sure if like the crazy flavors, but Oreos are actually vegan. They're like oh, a dairy free yeah. treat. And when I was like first changing over like my diet, of course, not on it today, but um, mm -hmm. Oreos were like one of my sweets that I would always get because no dairy in them. We've had the same journey, Eliza, yeah. because I noticed the same thing about Oreos and I was like, that is awesome. I know. <laughs> right? Because I'm starting to be, excuse me, I'm starting to be dairy free. Not today. Mm -hmm. but yeah. Yeah. We should talk. We yeah. Talk. Oh, yeah. No, yeah. definitely. We're going to have to. Yeah. We need like best practices. <clears throat> there's no dairy in Oreos and these are delicious and I will be eating this whole box later. <laughs> that was really good. Um, Eliza, what do okay. you have next? So I'm hoping this one's good. I'm actually really excited. Uh, when I saw it, I was like, I gotta get this. It's a marshmallow top uh, Reese's peanut butter cup. Oh! <laughs> so I'm hoping it's good wow. because that just sounds amazing. I'm pumped for you. <laughs> It looks amazing. Oh, this is cool. <gasps> oh, what is that? How is it? Yeah. Um... This is it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if you're getting That's any it. Easter candy, you need to get no this. No way. <gasps> this is so good. No What's way. The consistency yeah. Of the yeah. It's just like kind of like a regular Reese's. Like it's hard okay. on the top. Okay. It's not like you know, like how the peeps are with that marshmallow, yeah. but it's just it. It's a really good taste. Like it's, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Ten out of ten. Ten out of ten. Awesome. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> nice. A win after the bummer one. That's I great. Know. <laughs> cool. Teresa, how about you? What's up? Right. Well, speaking of marshmallow, I actually have oh marshmallow soda. <laughs> we tell everybody where you get your. Okay. Your There's job. this place in um near where i live called grandpa joe's i think it's a chain but it's like a, a candy store and they have all the um old-fashioned kinds of candies and weird candies and it's just it's a really cool place it's right like in on main street i think in bethlehem so it's like a bunch of like really cool shops and this is one of them so i did i made a little a little stop at grandpa joe's but they have all kinds of crazy sodas and the ones i haven't tried yet they have ketchup soda well that really <laughs> sounds terrible which I feel like if we're ever in the office again, I, I need to find someone to like to make them try some of these because there's also a blue cheese soda. Oh my god, that would kill me. That would kill me. Yeah, I love blue cheese, but I don't oh, think in soda it. form, I don't think it could uh, be it. But anyway, so this is marshmallow flavor. It's not enough to be too adventurous. Um, so let's see. Hmm. It's interesting. It's definitely very sweet. <laughs> it has kind of a weird, I'm not sure if it's, well, no, I guess, you know what? It's like, it's like if they liquefied the marshmallows from like Lucky Charms. And, okay. and it's hmm. almost a little too much even for me, but it's not terrible. Fair enough. Could you finish the bottle? Slowly. I wouldn't talk. <laughs> <laughs> it's soda. Yeah. <laughs> well, speaking of soda, so I found this, it's called Starlight Coke. I don't know if you can see. And it's got, it's like a limited edition. It's got a little bit of a reddish tint, if you can kind of see that. It's not like the dark caramel color. Um, and it says it's space flavored, whatever that means. Um, I did open it. I haven't tasted it. I did open it just so it didn't explode on air. Oh, but, um, funny, though. What's that? It would have been funny if it exploded. I know. It would have been all over my laptop. <laughs> would have been a mess. 
But I did see, um, I actually attended a webinar with Vicki Ocean from Sanmar a few weeks ago. She's like a trends expert with them. And she was saying how space and like the galaxy is really huge right now. Um, and I think it's just because we all want to like escape this crazy world that we're living on and spinning around through space, but we want to escape and go to Mars or wherever. So galaxy things in space is really popular. And this could be like, you know, we shoot for the stars or like some kind of like self promo kit. You know what I mean? This could mm -hmm. be a big part of it, yeah, but I cool. looked up like the announcement for this and it said, um, it's a space inspired Coca-Cola product. And it was like, it tastes, it's, if you go by this beverage space tastes kind of like minty cotton candy sprinkled with vanilla and has sort of red tint. It's pleasantly mm -hmm. sweet and candy like, and just a bit fruity. And it says it includes additional notes reminiscent of stargazing around a campfire, as well as a cooling sensation that evokes the feeling of a cold journey to space. So people wanted to get out, get the campfires, you know, a lot of like social distance traveling this year. Mm -hmm. So I think That's they're kind of leveraging that. A lot of notes of flavors. Though. Yeah. I don't know if you're going to get all of those. Ooh, has a bit of a different smell to it. So I'm going to try it. Let's see. Hmm. It's a little lighter than regular Coke. It doesn't taste too different, mm. but it definitely has a little bit of like a cherry, more of a cherry kind of flavor to it. It's not bad. I could, I could finish this. Yeah. It's pretty, it's pretty like subtle. It's not too crazy. So yeah, this is actually pretty good. Does it taste it. how you would imagine space to taste? I'm going to taste it one more time. <laughs> Think space. Yeah, maybe like, you know, an oxygen tank. Yeah, <laughs> kind of see it. Yeah, kind of sense it. Yeah, a little bit. Right. Yeah, they have a whole merch line now with like galaxy themed stuff. So it's a whole thing. But yeah, that was um, that was pretty good. Not too bad. So Eliza, what do you have next? I have some milk eggs, but not just your ordinary. I have like the Linden uh, Ooh, brand. Oh, because I, I feel like these, I mean, I love this candy. So I feel like these little mini eggs are kind of like a grown-up version from like yeah. what you would get. So I, when I saw these, I was like, so we'll see. My dog is down here. He's just watching. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, cute little, you know. Oh, yeah. You're... Nice pastel colors. Yeah. Good. Really good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you know what's funny? Is that it still like reminds me of like the consistency of the little hard eggs that you would get. Mm -hmm. so it just has that like that chocolate flavor that like you go back to when you get those like actual like red candies. Mm -hmm. Yep. And it's hard and it's pretty good. Yeah. Awesome. It's crunchy. Nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's a good quality brand. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nice. Awesome. Teresa, what's up next yeah. for you? All right. We're going to go jelly beans Ooh, okay. nice. i got these uh jelly belly crispy cream oh. so Gosh. all right i'm looking oh, at it it has uh cinnamon apple filled strawberry iced glazed blueberry cake original glazed and chocolate iced with sprinkles so let me see it's be hard for me to tell so you know i'm gonna get maybe the pink one because that's strawberry iced okay interesting it does have a donut taste like does it how could it taste like you're eating a donut when it's the consistency of a jelly bean but somehow it does somehow it has that like bakery kind of i don't i don't know how to describe it like mm -hmm. it has like a, a a donut taste to it and this one is the flavors of jelly beans they could i feel like they make anything to a jelly bean yeah <laughs> an apple filled Ooh. No, yeah. does taste like cinnamon apple. Hmm. They're not bad. I, I mean, I think the thing is that I'd rather eat like an actual donut than a jelly bean. Yeah, so it's really interesting how they can do it, and they're very. The colors are so pretty with that like kind of mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. curly pink color and like just the glazed looking browns and tans. So they're 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 very cute. Yeah, that'd make it like a nice addition for like a kitted 
box that like, oh, the, yeah. I like the, yeah. the colors there are very cool. And the, the other thing is like sending donuts, donuts don't last that long. Mm -hmm. Sending yeah. donut jelly beans that has more of a shelf life. So if you're exactly. doing like a donut yeah. themed kit, that mm -hmm. could, that could really go in there nicely oh, yeah. without actually, you know, putting in a donut that's only going to last for a day or two. Right. Yep. Absolutely. Yeah. Speaking of jelly beans, I got, I really like Funfetti. One of my favorite flavors. Mm. And they have these Funfetti jelly beans and they have the, well, I can't really see, but they have the colors on them. They're pretty vivid. Let me see it. So. Mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> no, I'm done. <laughs> I didn't like that, that was a big bag too. I know. What am I gonna do with that? <laughs> no, like well, it leaves a weird tastes almost a little plasticky. Mm. Uh, nope, not it. That's not quite the jelly belly. <laughs> jelly bellies, I feel like, are real like quality. When they get the crazy flavors, it's like the real quality. Yeah, yeah. That's not it. Those aren't. That wasn't Jelly Belly brand, right? Mm -mm. No, it was Brock's. Oh. Sorry, Brox. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Throwing them under the bus. Yes. I wanted to get, I think Brox had this taco truck, taco, yeah. night, taco truck jelly beans, but I couldn't Ooh. find them. I was going to, I was going to get them. I was afraid that they had like meat flavored and margarita flavored. Oh, I would have different that. crazy ones. I think, I mean, like the meat one, it sounded like they were really bad, but you know how I um, like weird things. So, but I couldn't yeah. find them. Yeah, I would have been afraid of like the cilantro flavor in there on air. Oh, I know. I would have had to leave you guys. <laughs> cilantro. <laughs> Can't it's funny that. because back in, in the office, whenever they would have like some kind of Mexican themed like tacos or any kind of food, like Sarah would have to, she's like, I really want that, but you guys are using cilantro, right? Like she'd always have to do the cilantro test. Mm. Does it taste like soap to you? Yeah, it tastes worse yeah. than soap. It, it tastes like my whole body is like gonna eject it. Oh, it can't have it. <laughs> like it just can't. It can't. It's like get it out. My dad <laughs> thinks it tastes like stink bugs. Yeah, it tastes. Mm. Yeah, it tastes pretty gnarly. Yeah. And if you wonder why he knows that, he accidentally ate one once. A stink bug? It was on his birthday cake. Oh no. <laughs> oh my god, it's so bad. Ew. That's really bad. I, I can see that. He's an expert. He knows. He actually yep. knows. Yeah, that's really gnarly. Uh, Liza, do you have another? Yeah, do you I have, have one. a last one. Is this yeah, last I have one, one? last okay. one. Okay, cool. And it's just I'm going back to peeps. It's a chocolate covered peep. Ooh, Ooh yum. Yeah. Yum. Just like a single one in a bag. Yeah, just a single one. Okay. Yeah, that's why I grabbed it. It was like yeah. a dollar. I was like, oh, cool. But yeah, you know, I really, you know. Next time we should do this around Valentine's Day as well because they actually made peeps that were uh, strawberry flavored and they were chocolate covered. Mm -hmm. And I love chocolate covered strawberry anything. So, nice. but they don't have those right now because we're switched over to Easter. But yeah. This is really good. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is it a duck or is it like an egg with a chick? Like what shape? It was is a it? chick. Oh, okay. Did you eat the mm -hmm. head off? Yeah, I just ate the okay. <laughs> For Easter, do you guys typically eat the heads off of the buns? What's your yeah. Mm -hmm. I usually eat this, this chocolate covered, um, it was this bunny, but it had um, gummy bears. Like Ooh. it was all of the gummy bears like formed a giant bunny and it was chocolate covered. Oh, it was, like, gummy bear chocolate factory around here. So good. What chocolate factory? Uh, is it David's, David's, David Bradley. Yeah. I just saw their billboard in Pendo. Mm -hmm. I was yeah, like, I don't hey. know if they have it this year, but they used to have it like right before COVID. And oh, it got out. to the point where like I would go on their website and just order it for myself every year because what? it was so good. And okay. I love gummies. So I so do I. I need to and anything we, chocolate we need to talk. Yeah. A hundred percent. I like um have you ever had like champagne gummy bears? <sighs> I gotta try those. They're good. I like them. They're so good. They're so that's good. Good. And that's great for like celebrate a grand opening or celebrating mm -hmm. you. Or and again, easy yeah. way to to transport the taste and the celebration rather than like a bottle of right. yeah. champagne. Which you mm -hmm. can do, but it's more work. Yeah. For yeah. Sure. Teresa, do you have a last snack? I have two more, so I'll just do them real quick. Do it. Yeah. You know, I always go overboard. I'm that's, sorry. Yeah, <laughs> let's do it. 
So I have the Nestle's Aero Bar, but it's um really peppermint, nice. delightful Ooh. peppermint. Oh, I've never I like seen those. that before. Yeah. I think oh, they might fun. be, are they like, do they have them in the UK maybe? I don't know. Hmm. I don't see them much around here, but they have, they mm -hmm. they look like little bubbles and they have like a little imprint of bubbles on it. Mm -hmm. oh, and you break it open, you can see like the. Oh, that looks good. I like that. All right. It's nice and minty and good, but I would have thought that the bubbles would have some kind of sensation. Oh, no? Yeah, there's nothing. Nothing's, like, happening. It's like, just creamy. Like, <clears throat> yeah. I thought it would be, like, crunchy or some kind of... Mm. Oh. Hmm. So, I mean, it looks really cool. I love the chocolate mint flavor. It's like, it's like a thicker Andes mint. So, I mm -hmm. really like that. Yeah, that looks good. Yeah, like, I was expecting the bubbles to, to do something for me and they were just there. Like, I don't know what the purpose of them is. Michelle Merrifield in Canada says that they have those bars there. That makes oh, sense. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I think it's like more, it feels like a little more European. Yeah. Yeah. I like yeah. them. And I like, I like their like kind of bubbly kind of look. They have a really cool look about mm -hmm. them. Yeah. A lot of texture. Um, and then I have, um, these are Kit Kats. I should have brought the, the mm -hmm. bigger bag in, but I think that I'm not sure because I think they're Japanese. Hmm. I think the flavor, it looked like it was graham cracker. Okay. It had, looked like it had a big, like, graham cracker cookie on the front. So let's see what this looks like. <clears throat> so, yeah, it's similar to the lemon one, but more of a, like, a beige kind of color. Mm -hmm. And it has sort of, like, little flecks as if it were a graham cracker. Let's break it in half. It's not very sweet. Hmm. It's not bad, but it's very, it's a little different. It's just, it, it's very kind of light, but I guess it is kind of like a, a graham crackery flavor, but not a strong graham cracker flavor. Hmm. Pretty good though. Yeah. And I would, I would eat more. I would, I wouldn't throw, I'm not going to throw away the whole bag. So <laughs> yeah, it's interesting. Cool. Well, my, for my final one, I have this cute little like egg carton from oh Tony Shop oh, Lonely. It's I really cute. It. And the, the Yeah, it's it's I just I liked the packaging. The um the the actual carton is recyclable, so it makes for like nice. a good like eco-friendly promotion. Mm -hmm. And also, um Tony's Chocolate Lonely, this brand is all about like slave free cocoa sourcing. So their mission is they do slave free because slave labor and child labor are still a huge issue on cocoa farms, especially in Africa. Mm -hmm. So they source from um, slave free areas. And then um, they are also like they advocate for slave free chocolate across the board, across the industry. And um, they also said on here, like, so they have however many eggs are in here. Let's see. It says, oh, it says 12 eggs divided by five flavors. That's uh, not equal. <laughs> this carton is <laughs> this carton is unexually divided, just like our bars, to illustrate the inequality in the chocolate industry. Oh. So yeah, they have a cool <laughs> message. They have a cool package. Um, it says, "Look on the oh here." Okay, so this is interesting. The the label I just peeled off has it's basically an infographic about the cocoa oh, industry. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, mm -hmm. they're really right. using that that packaging to its best advantage. Yeah, mm -hmm. right. And it's like this. Oh, that's it's really sunny. cute. Yeah, this is very interesting. Right now, there is slavery in cocoa farms in West Africa. This is a result of the unequally divided cocoa chain. Tony's Chocolate Only exists to change that. So that's their mission. And then there's these eggs that are different. Oh, there are different flavors in here. Do they look okay? Different? So yeah, this is how it looks in here. <gasps> oh, that's so yeah. Good. So there's orange, two types of green, two red, two blue. Are those, they're wrapped up? They're, are they, they are wrapped up. I'm actually not sure what each flavor. Oh, okay. There's hazelnut, milk chocolate, dark chocolate, caramel sea salt, and almond sea salt. That's oh, interesting. Yeah. I think I'll try a blue one. Let's just see what it's, let's see if I can guess the flavor. Um, but yeah, anything that's like sourced, this might be dark chocolate. Anything that's sourced like socially conscious, social consciously, socially conscious. Yep. <laughs> oh, Anyways, <laughs> it's a good get these days. 
I'm a big dark chocolate fan. That's mm. my favorite. It's really good. It's quality chocolate. Mm. And you can yeah. tell. Like, they don't like when the chocolate has that waxy flavor. Mm -hmm. I like that good, the good stuff. Mm -hmm. This is really smooth. That's really good. So, with everything tried, we want to move into ways to leverage the season to sell more promo. Um, so, you know, for every year, wherever you are, spring is like, even if you're in an area where the seasons don't change a whole lot, spring is still, you know, indicative of like optimism, rebirth, you know, new beginnings, all that kind of stuff. So um, especially this year, I think with COVID and people trying to get back to some normalcy, I think it really indicates that and people are ready. People are ready to go travel again. So Eliza, let's start with you. Do you have some ideas for our, our audience and how they can leverage the springtime for more promo sales? Yeah, so, you know, I'm kind of all about social media, but I also really enjoy, like, uh, creating really cool graphics. So I'm thinking, you know, the weather is getting nice out. Might as well bring your promo products outside and have photo shoots with them. And, you know, even just that little touch of, like, greenery or just flowers around there can add, like, just make your posts so nice you know like mm -hmm. it's just so positive so like oh okay like yeah maybe your sunglasses are just chilling by some flowers but it just changes it up um compared to just always having that like here's just a photography photo that's just static and that's it so i think that would be a cool way to leverage the springtime the nice weather kind of reminds people of what's going on outside since, since we're all home inside and um, on our computers all day. So <laughs> maybe it'll help someone remember like, oh, it's a beautiful day. Let me go outside and grab my sunglasses or my water bottle and that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Yep. Those lifestyle images are really big right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. Cool. Yeah. Teresa, do you have any ideas? Yeah. I'm, I'm just thinking of a couple actually. <laughs> First of all, just because with the weather getting nicer, people want to be outside. So any kind of promo that helps them be outside, whether it's, you know, camping gear or uh, I love all the, the yard games that, that people have, like the giant, like Jenga or like a huge, like um, checkerboard or something. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> you know, anything like that is I think fun and, you know, gets people in the mood for picnics and, and stuff like that. But I just, based on our conversation earlier, I think that something, a little different that would get people thinking about spring would be like some kind of kit for allergy season that includes maybe local honey. That would be really cool, right? Like, yeah, that's actually a cool idea. Yeah. yeah like you are, you can like just source it with, you know, things because it's like everyone, everyone is kind of focusing on, they always focus on the good things about spring, which is good, but this is sort of like taking a little twist. It's not necessarily like negative, but mm -hmm. it's, um, you know, a, a different way of like entering the season that like so many people deal with. Um, so maybe it has like cough drops or like branded tissues mm -hmm. and local honey and just like all that kind of like the kit you need, the survival kit to get through spring. So that's what just kind of popped in my head right now. But yeah, that's mm -hmm. really cool. so you can it's like this because you know, everyone's experiencing it, you know, the maybe maybe like you said, not like depending on where you are in the country, it's different um weather, but still like the idea of spring is so universal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think um, anything like you're saying, anything that's like outdoor related right now, people are really wanting to travel. I think people are starting to, um, you know, this is a great time to camp. It's not too hot yet. So people are, um, they're out, getting outside again, getting to the parks. Um, I think, you know, even like plane travel, people are starting to get more comfortable with that again. So travel related promotions. I really like the fact that, and we, we saw it today, so many of these companies with their different flavors, limited edition or not, there, that's such a, a perfect way to have brand colors that are kind of close to whatever your brand is, if it's a self promo or your client's brand, different color peeps, different color jelly beans, different color Oreos. Like there's so many different ways that you can leverage what's already existing and bundle and make it like a, a color coordinated package for your clients or as again, as a self promo for yourself. I think that's great. And then as we know, sustainability is so big in this industry right now and, and social consciousness and sourcing products, like not just like it's made out of recyclable materials, but it was sourced like ethically mm -hmm. that is becoming so huge right now. And that's, you know, that goes for all year round, but I feel like that's becoming, you know, very, very, very big in this industry, the green movement, those kinds of things, huge for spring, especially um, mm -hmm. in new beginnings. It's, it's a great time to have new uh, self promo programs. It's a, you know, a new season, all those kinds of things, the optimism, 
Um, yeah, there are just a myriad of ways that you can leverage spring and into early summer as people start to get back out there. And they're eager for promos. People like to eat outside now. The signage, the umbrellas, the coasters, all that stuff for, for outside eateries and bars is really big. Um, so all great ideas. You know, so, um, the, going back to the uh, whole thing about the socially conscious stuff. Yeah. I think that, that your chocolate really showed how you need to tell the story of what you're doing yes. too, because it did such a good job of like the clever wordplay about like it's un things are unequal. So we divided the, the chocolate flavors unevenly yeah. and we have like yeah. that whole very visually appealing, like graphic, um, mm -hmm. you know, like it's not enough, you know, not that like doing this stuff is supposed to be like a marketing ploy, but if you are doing recycled things or, you know, things that are, you know, fair trade or, or whatever it is, like you need to tell your customers about it. Like that is a story that you should be telling and that's mm -hmm. people want to hear. So yep. it, it is important to kind of play up that that stuff, not in like an exploitative or like snarky kind of, not snarky, but yeah. maybe like not in a disingenuous way. Like yeah. it's the genuine thing, but sometimes I, I hear from companies that are doing great things, but they don't, it doesn't occur to them that they should be sharing that. Mm -hmm. um, and that's the mm -hmm. stories that, that consumers want want to know about. For sure. Absolutely, yeah, couldn't agree more. If you if you're gonna say you're gonna put Tony Shockle only in a in a promotion somehow, in your pitch, you should know their their mission. Like you should mm -hmm. know their story. You should be able to reference it. You should you should give them the value prop so people know about it. You should be very familiar with the brands that you're pitching and how mm -hmm. what their message is and their story. Yeah, people love stories. Oh yeah, love sure. stories. That's com this is really compelling. This this like box. It's very compelling and it's simple, but it, it the, mm -hmm. the message behind it is compelling. And that's important for um, for distributors to know about and for suppliers to communicate that to their distributors, for sure. Yeah. Great. Well, ladies, thank you so much. That was a lot of fun. Thanks for being yes. here today. And for more industry trends and selling tips, please head to asicentral.com slash news. Thanks for listening. Ladies, have a great day. You too. Bye. Thank you. Bye.